What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Romy. I'm back with my second mug bank. <laughs> okay. But make sure you like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Tell a grandma, tell a grandpa, because you know Romy all in. I am back with my same guest that I have, my babe. And her name is CG on IG, so go follow her, go check her out. Um, and she also do beats. So um, I'm gonna have all that down there in the description box. So um, today's topic is gonna be LGBTQ. Uh, we have a lot of conversation about that nowadays. So I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna have this food, okay? And oh my goodness, let me see you guys. And the guy food, y'all see them chicken wings? Oh, look, they nice. They nice chicken wings, y'all. Food lion, food lion. So we're talking about you know LGBT and how you know everyone is talking about Dwayne Wade's and Gabriel's child um that's a touchy topic because you if you're not feeling a certain way and you want to change yourself and in, in like mind setting and look or how you appear you're like how you um, um how you say it um you your appearance your appearance like the way you perceive yourself. yeah well, the way you perceive yourself and that is huge because there's a lot of people losing their lives because they want to be who they want to be and for them to have their child back, that is the first step. Everybody else, they don't give a fuck. I'm sorry to be blunt like that, but they don't even care. She, they, she, you heard what she said when they did their little clip of how they feel about their um, they daughter and how, you know what I'm saying, how, how they household was going. Fuck y'all. She just, you know, said what she said. She meant what she said. That's their baby. How everybody got, always got something to say. I had to tie my hair, y'all, because I'm about to eat. So how you feel about it? Like, what, what, what's your intake on it? It's it's a touchy subject. Very. I mean, like, I get it. I'm 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 kind of unbiased at the end of the day because my mom didn't allow me to do certain things as a child. Um, but I I'm still gay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I tried. I tried. I honestly tried not to go this way. Um, because I was raised in the church. That's all that conversation. Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think you cannot suffocate your child. You can't You can't tell your child what to do and how to do certain things because they're going to find a way, um, one way or another. Um, there are some things that I think we've all experienced as kids that we shouldn't experience at all. Oh, yeah. So A lot of things. Like, you gotta. I think at the end of the day, what it boils down to is you. You have to teach and you have to. You have to educate your child on what's out there and what to expect, because there's no amount of words, there's no amount of conversations that you can have that will prepare you for what the world is going to bring. But at the end of the day, I just kind of feel like you never. You have to pour into your kids. You have to raise your kids. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. Like. Raise your kids. It start and it also start at home, like she said, bouncing off what she said. It does start at home because I'm going referring back to what um, Gabe was saying. I'm gonna call her Gabe. You know, her name is Gabriel Union. Um, and Dwayne, they didn't know what was going on or how to go about this situation, so they seek out help. If you don't know and you see your child doing things that as that you feel that aren't normal go ask for help there's nothing wrong with going out and asking people you know like what's going on but some you do got people out there who you ask they may be feeling some type of way but go to someone that you feel comfortable and you feel that is going to give you a biased opinion or who's going to give you the information that you are looking for or seeking you in the direction to get the help they may not know it but they may know somebody that can help you mm -hmm. and it's always a plus to be able to to educate yourself on anything and diversity nowadays anyway because it's 2020 you look around everybody's look 
a little gay. I'm just saying, not just in general. <laughs> yeah, but I can honestly say that I got that help, or at least the uh, intention to get help was there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went to go see different counselors and different things. I don't think it had to be, I don't think it had anything to do with my, like, sexuality, but just different behaviors that I was exhibiting as a child that weren't normal. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm still gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like, I still love, genuinely love women, period. And I consider myself. I consider myself. I'm I'm bi, and I'm I like I, I'm borderline pansexual. I'll put that in the description box. What the, what pansexual means? My thing is with a human being is I don't see gender, color, body style. I don't see that. If you are genuinely a good person and confident in yourself, I like that. That's what attracts me. That's what attracts me. And the race thing is, or the race thing or the transgender, that don't bother me at all. And it offends other people, and I don't understand why. Like, I can. Well, let me take this. I can see why. I, I understand because I was brought up in the ch- in the church, and God said you're not supposed to like, or the Bible says you're not supposed to like this sex if you are this sex. But how do they know if Adam and Eve was two women or two men? How do y'all know that? But I've been educated, so I know the what's behind. What they what are what they saying in the Bible, and I also know how it is supposed to be. A man and a woman is supposed to reproduce. Women and women cannot produce. They have to go through they have to go through different channels to produce. Men and men cannot produce each other. So I do see what they saying. Keep the cycle going, you know. But if a person is not feeling that, or don't like the outside appearance. You can't judge that person for not wanting to be who they want to be. I think that's where we are missing all these things. Like I was telling um, babe a couple days ago, I feel like they need to have transgender restrooms. If I had a young woman, a transgender walk in the restroom, we in the women restroom, I would feel offended only because this is still a man really and my daughter is in here. But when I take it personal or cussing them out, oh no, none of that. But I think they should also be able to allow allow to have their privacy. And I think that comes with people just not thinking outside the box at all. Why would it be like that? (laughs) It's hard. It's so hard. Like, I think I can honestly see both sides clearly. And it's just so hard to choose a side because of who I am. Um, I ain't choosing no side. Not at all. I have, right and right and wrong and wrong. I have recently encountered a transgender first on, like, head on. Mm-hmm. We were in. Mm-hmm. And, and I, don't, I don't know, like, I get it. I get how you can feel like you're in the wrong body. I can feel how you can want to be the opposite sex, but still be attracted to the opposite sex. I can see it, but at the very same time, I don't agree. Um, I don't, not necessarily agree, but I don't condone it because- You don't condone what? Trans, being transgender. Like- no, no. As a gay woman, I'm saying this. Um, I've had moments, I have several moments of where I feel more masculine than I am feminine. Um, is that 
abnormal, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it's like to be somebody else. But at the end of the day, neither does anyone else. Like, let people be who they are. You know what I'm saying? Let people choose how they are going to the, in, express themselves um, without any without any judgment. At the end of the day, you got to be empathetic. You got to take your experience away sometimes and take on the perceptions of others. That's how people describe Jesus as. So, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you have to do if that's what you call yourself to be. Anyway, that's another... So that is so <laughs> but why do you feel that why do you dislike the fact of them transgendering like them changing what's your bottom line of why don't you feel that a man should change into a woman or um, yeah a man turns into a woman or a woman turns into a man it is so complex like I've been around transgender women more than I have transgender men. You know, I've hung around more gay men than I have actual lesbians. Okay. So I get it on the men's aspect when the when the man's transgender into a woman because of the body language, because of the energy. Like you can feel that shit when it's genuine. Mm -hmm. So I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Like they're more graceful, they're more dainty. They're more, you know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like, um, that's who they are, like naturally. Not because someone forced them into it, not because they've been touched, not because, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, they genuinely feel, but but then on the other hand, I haven't really been exposed to transgender men, so I don't know. Mm, you okay. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. I see what you're saying. Because I, I don't mind it. I'm, they cool as hell. Yeah. I got a friend who was a boy in school, and he a fat woman now. <laughs> Two of them, one in college and one in high school. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, the other one changed from a boy to a man. I mean, from a girl to a boy. And then one changed from a boy to a girl. So, I had to work both worlds. So, and I got to ask a lot of questions. But... I I just don't. I just want people to be educated and also be mindful of how people feel, um, mm -hmm. especially Twitter fingers. And I mean Twitter fingers. I mean social media. Period. Mm -hmm. The ones that's behind the screen like we are. They always got something to say. They probably living a gay private life. They probably over there doing Susie and Grandma behind they damn wife back. And they be the ones that's doing the most. Come on, y'all. Y'all can't be doing that. At the, and at the end of the day, y'all got to, look, maybe you want to get disrespectful. Y'all got to understand that that's a child. I have read so many disrespectful comments mm -hmm. on different people pages, Instagram, Facebook. And it's ridiculous how they come after that little girl. Are you mad? Like it ain't your child. It's not. It's, it's not dealing. It's not even dealing with you. <laughs> Period. So you have no, no say so in whatever's going on. You just have to sit there and watch. They displaying it. So if it do ever happen to somebody, they know how to take the proper manner steps to go about doing something. Not just be, oh, this happened. What am I gonna do? Freaking out. Mm -hmm. Because if we ain't all have parents when they find out that their kids is gay. Woo! Whole nother dipping ball game. Woo, y'all see that ring drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It be going in, okay? But it do start at home. And we have to make sure we, we know what's going on. Yeah. Being aware. Being aware, I yeah. I don't think it's a subject between her and I the most because we're trying to have kids or whatever. So... We just like, what would we do if Junior? I'm open to it. She's like, um, <laughs> we have to sit right? down and talk about he can't wear. Well, when mommy not around, listen, what we doing? I don't know about all that because I was not allowed to do that. I had to make my own choice how I was going to. And you I struggle with it though. That's the thing. Even after I got out of my mom's house, I'm like, okay, man, but. 
but I'm not really. So it's just kind of like let them progress, let them evolve into whatever it is that they they're feeling. My advice to those out there that are coming out or came out or feel indifferent, and I mean indifferent in a good way, and others got opinions about what you say, fuck them. That is exactly what I'm telling you to do. Fuck them. Okay, bye. You're not either making or make breaking me. I'm not about to go home thinking about what you said. I need my peace and when I sleep. And I know there are people out there that cannot do that. Pray about it. Write it down in a journal to get it off your thought. If you are an artist, write it into your music. If you are a creator, paint it. If you are a person that deal with metal and know how to create stuff, whatever it takes, put it all into the art because that's what I'm doing. Okay? It works because you don't care about nothing now but about getting a check or worried about what you're doing. You know, that's all. You know, and it, and it's like, you just got to be, I just, the respect thing because, I mean, golly, people. Yeah. People was going hard. They were going really hard. And that I ain't gonna I just don't even I can't even repeat without what, what I was what I read. I just it's no point of even repeating it. Y'all know who y'all are and y'all dead ass wrong. And if y'all watching this movie, I don't give a fuck. No bullshit. Uh, this is my boo. Who made me so mad? There's a lot of people. I mean I playing out disrespectful. He is disrespectful on a whole nother level because how you going to talk the way you talk about females and talk the way you talk just in general and then be like, you can't do this. Like, who are you? Nigga? And you got daughters himself. And sons. But plurals. That's how you raise your kid. And and, and quit coming at the wing. He didn't raise his damn child wrong. He did not raise his child wrong. He obviously raised his daughter right. I'm going to tell you why. Because she's educated. She, can, she, I bet she schooled some of y'all on that video when they was in the golf course. Because <laughs> I seen that some of the comments saying, you know, she did explain it really well. Yeah, mm -hmm, I seen that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just say, I knew early on. I was younger than 12. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm gay. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Let me go ahead. Let me be. Let me be transparent. Men are attractive. Men are attractive. I tell. She love her to Michael B. Jordan, y'all. Michael B. Jordan just did. You can get a stud to bounce it open. <laughs> the way that they be trying to come at me, I just be like, <laughs> me. Maybe you on her, y'all. She's cute. But at the end of the day, it's just kind of like people be knowing who they are. Let them be. Damn. It's mm -hmm. not it's not hard. You do you. You don't agree. Mm -hmm. Mind your business. Okay. That's it. it. And your kids probably at home doing some shit they ain't need to be doing. Without you not knowing. Miss Daughter. Her name is Zaya. I'm afraid of or Zaya, so forgive me for mis saying wrong your name if you ever watch this. But um, I I applaud her. She's brave. She knew what she was talking about. She didn't say no ums. She didn't say no mms. She knew what the hell she was talking about. She, she said, I don't feel. And she went on. Y'all see the clip? She, she knew what she was talking about. And she knew what direction she wanted to go in. And I like how she did it. She didn't be all like you guys disrespectful. She just, you know, and I mean you guys, and y'all know who I'm talking about, who was them Twitter fingers, because them things, that was so harsh. I had some of the comments, I was crying. I had to stop reading. I'm like, this is devastating. Come on, man. We got this virus going around. Y'all talking about this? Come on now. Y'all, we got to together. But... Yeah, um, I came out a little later than she did, because she knew early. I mean, 
I tried a couple things with some girls when younger and younger. But I didn't know I was um really gay until I was hey I almost I was getting out eighth grade into high school. <laughs> Well, that's a different story, story time. When I'm definitely going to get back to that. But I definitely knew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just really important to agitate ourselves on things that is dealing with LGBTQ if you do not know. It's not best to just go out and say what you want to say and think they're going to take it any kind of way. Because the majority of the time, LGBTQ individuals are more likely to come off aggressive because the fact of we have been so tarnished and, and picked at it. And all these transgender men dying and transgender women dying or murders and stuff like that. That's crazy below the belt they probably was doing it with somebody and they ain't one of them yeah y'all know y'all low man out there y'all know y'all low some of y'all low 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 and y'all know it <laughs> so sad and y'all want to be hurting these men that is able to walk in a talk in a way of being you're mad so you can't individually just be you and I ain't what's up. I know. I don't remember no clue. I ate a whole salad. Like, it was a little small salad. It wasn't the best. I'm good for you. I ain't. <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a grandma, tell a grandma, because you know Romy's all in. Thanks again for watching, yeah. and I see you later.